So this is one secret that I have told you today in this lesson, my secret. That's true that in order to perfect a skill, you have to repeat it, repeat doing something. But the thing is that you have to avoid mindless. Hello, everybody. How are you all? Hope you're doing great. So welcome back to another session of learning English with me. Today, I have something very important for all of you. I know at some point in your learning journey, in your journey to speak fluent English, you might have felt like you are practicing a lot, you're not improving. It's like you don't know what to practice anymore, what to do. You have put in so much of your efforts. Still, the results are less. The amount of result that you should get, the intensity of result that you must have gotten is not what you expected it to be. You must have faced this problem and today I'm going to tell you why is it that your efforts are so much but results are not. Why you're not becoming fluent in English despite of making so many efforts. So here is the lesson for you today and how to rectify it. I'm going to tell you that too. I'm going to tell you the problem and the solution both. I'm Shivangi Gupta, your CELTA certified English language tutor. Certified by the University of Cambridge, the UK, and you're watching Speak English with Shivangi. Before beginning, please subscribe this channel because you get one English video lesson every day on this channel. Also, like it and share the video with your friends too. Coming back to today's lesson, that is you are putting in so much efforts, you're not getting enough results, you're not becoming fluent. Why? What is that one mistake you might be making? that you don't know about and that is the mistake is mindless practice mindless practice i know this is a whole new concept mindless practice is something that very few people know about it is something that is related to learning a particular skill this is a topic which is often discussed in skill based learning when we are learning a particular skill and what we are doing with English, we are learning a skill. Any language is considered as a skill because language has so much practical usage. We are using a language to communicate and that's a skill to be able to communicate with the help of a medium. The medium is language that is a skill. And when it comes to English learning, Mindless practice is something that a lot of people do not know about. This is something that is going to be a new concept for all of you. But this is going to help you a lot. Believe me, this is going to help you a lot. It's like I'm giving away a secret of mine to you, to all of you exclusively. Mindless practice. What is mindless practice? Now the key word here is practice. Practice. In order to perfect a skill, what you are supposed to do, practice. Practice makes a man perfect. Practicing a skill will give you perfection. The age-old saying of perfecting any skill through practice has been targeted here. That practicing is important. Obviously, it is important. But what to practice? The big question is, what to practice and if you don't know the answer of this question what to practice then you are doing mindless practice that is you are not practicing in a focused manner you are not practicing the things you are supposed to practice in order to gain that skill and this time we are talking about speaking english that means you are practicing but you are not practicing in such a way that you gain fluency. Whatever you're practicing, it is not targeting your fluency at all. That is mindless practice. Now, if I give you a particular practical example, practically what are you doing while doing mindless practice, then listen carefully. You take up a topic, any topic. You're taking up this particular topic. You have spoken on it for about four minutes, five minutes. You're doing the same thing every day. You're practicing. Simultaneously, you have learned, say, 20 words in a month. 20 new words. I'm taking a minimum amount here. Minimum, at minimum level, you have learned 20 new words. 
now you are not using those 20 words not even a single time during practicing that is a mindless practice that means you are learning those 20 new words but you're not including them in your speaking practice if you're not trying to include them in your speaking practice what is the use of learning those words how will you see improvement in your fluency when you're not stepping outside of those boundaries you have created for you you are practicing you might even not realize it that's why i'm telling you in this particular lesson about this thing that is mindless practice because you will not realize it and you will be trapped in the cycle of mindless practice where you're taking random things up to practice randomly you're speaking one day randomly you have read something randomly you have listened to something there is no focus there is no planning that is mindless practice you will not see progress if you are not focused enough if you are not consistent enough you will not see practice even with consistency you need to keep in mind that whatever you are doing it should be systematic maybe you are consistent but again like i told you consistently you are practicing something for 30 days you are speaking you are doing your speaking practice but you are not including those 20 30 new words you have learned again you are consistent still you will not see the same level of progress if you are focused enough to include those particular words while you are practicing your english speaking skills that is the difference between mindless and mindful practice mindless practice will take you nowhere and this is something that happens a lot what kind of skills are you focusing on while practicing english are you giving 100% focus on just speaking things, speaking things, speaking things, and then speaking things randomly? If you are not taking a particular approach towards speaking practice, again, that speaking practice is not going to be as fruitful if you take some kind of focus technique up to practice your English speaking skills. That is the difference between mindless and mindful. So mindless is when you're not focusing enough, you're not planning anything, you're doing things randomly. And mindful is when you are focused on what you have to learn, what you have to learn in order to become fluent in English. What are you learning? Are you using the words you're learning or not? In a proper structural manner, you're approaching the process of learning. That is your mindful learning. That's true that in order to perfect a skill, you have to repeat it. Repeat doing something. For perfecting a skill, you need to repeat your actions. Repeat the task again and again, which is in simpler words known as a practice. Definitely. But the thing is that you have to avoid mindless practice. You should not fall into the trap of this mindless practice. That whatever you are practicing, are you giving thought to it? If you're taking up something, a random task, and practicing that particular task without even giving particular thought, proper thought to it, that is your mindless practice. How can you fall in the trap of mindless practice? For example, using learning material that is not according to your level. Now, a person is at B1 level, and this person now wants to reach B2 level. So once reaching B1 level, he or she needs to upgrade the kind of English they are interacting with. So if the person is continuously listening to something which is too simple in English for that person, too easy to understand, there are no new words, there are very less amount of phrases that the person can learn from that particular audio, particular video, particular reading material, then that reading material is not appropriate. That reading material is one level lower than the level of the learner, of the person. So if you're choosing some kind of materials that are lower than your level of English, again, you will not learn anything new. You might think you're reading English. You might think you are interacting with words, vocab. Why are you not improving? Because you're not choosing appropriate material for learning English. It should be appropriate according to your level. Number two, mindless practice. Number two is you are not including weak areas. When you're practicing, maybe you're practicing your listening skills, maybe you are practicing your speaking skills, you are not including your weak areas while practicing. You're not targeting them. 
again and again when you involve practicing you're neglecting your weak areas you're just focusing on your on your areas that are your strengths so do not make this mistake now the mindless practice don't make mistake of involving yourself in mindless practice focus focus on the task and plan everything properly so this is one secret that i have told you today in this lesson my secret mindless practice avoid mindless practice and involve yourself in mindful practice so that is the lesson for today i hope this was helpful for you if you liked it apply it and let me know in the comment section below how much helpful was this for you apply it and analyze analyze try recognizing the areas of mindless practice convert them into mindful practice and then let me know in the comment box below thank you so much for watching this video i'm going to meet you again in the next video till then everybody take care bye